Kingdom Hope, Jehovah's Witnesses. Can I help you? Yeah, I just have a question, uh, a Bible question I was wondering if you guys could help me with. Certainly. Okay, do you have a second? This is, yes. This oh, okay. Is Annie speaking. Sure. Okay, hi. Um, well, yeah, I was reading in, um, I was just reading scripture. I was reading in the book of Acts, and I came across a verse in chapter 1, verse, um, I think it's 6 or 8. Let's see, it's 8. Okay. Um, and it talks about that Jesus said, you shall be witnesses of, of me. Yes. Yeah, I was wondering why you call yourself witnesses of Jehovah. That's a very good question. And in fact, what um, Jesus himself uh, gave us as a command to do, if I may reference you, are you in front of your Bible? Sure. Okay, in Matthew mm-hmm. 24, if you go to verse 14, it was Jesus himself that gave us that command to uh, be witnesses uh, or witness about the kingdom uh, worldwide uh, in there, it says, mm-hmm. and this good news of the kingdom mm-hmm. will be preached in all the inhabited earth for a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. So that's a good question, being that we are Jehovah's Witnesses. However, in Revelation, we see that uh, Jesus himself is called a witness. So let me look it up here. Revelation chapter, I believe it's in the first chapter. And so in effect, let me see if I can find it. Um, chapter 1, verse 5. I want to look up that reference. Let me know when you're there. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Yeah. Okay. It's, um, of course, you know, um, the book of Revelation was given to from God, if, if you notice in verse 1, down to Jesus, down to an angel, to be given in v- visions to the Apostle John. And then, of course, he wrote the book of Revelation. But then in verse 5, John himself says, under God's inspired word, and he says there that um, this is from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. So when in Acts 1, 8, Jesus is saying to be witnesses of him, mm-hmm. we really include him, obviously, in our preaching work. Mm-hmm. And we witness to what he did as well as his commandments, which without it, there would be no such thing as being a Christian because we are followers or fo- following the footsteps of Christ in, himself. So if we're going to witness about Jehovah his Father as he did when he was on the earth, we would also witness about him. But now, where do we get the name? Why don't we call ourselves Jesus' witnesses? Let me take you to Isaiah. And I'll share with you just one of the many scriptures from where Jehovah's Witnesses take their name from. Could I ask you a question before you get to that? I think I'm familiar with that verse um, where he's speaking to Israel and says, you shall be witnesses of Jehovah, right, of me. Um, But now don't you, doesn't, doesn't the organization claim to be like the restoration of the early Christian congregation, you know, no. that they're the ones the most actually similar to it? In fact, this month's broadcast on uh-huh. JW.org, is, or you could go directly to uh, JWTV, um, it's precisely one of the sections, on, one of the segments on that one-hour program is how the first century congregation set an example mm-hmm. for Christians today to follow how everything is organized and the congregations are run. So yes, you're correct. And what is your question? On well, that? when well, when I um, looked up name, the word name, to see what they preached about, the name they preached about, in a concordance, which brings up all the references to that word name, it doesn't mention the name Jehovah. Well, I would, we would love, and and, and since you're speaking. With me, if if it was okay with you, I would love to bring you some information on that. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering what your thought was on it, because if you say you're the most like them, I don't see any similarity. You know, they didn't preach about paradise on earth or 1914 either. 
I was wondering well, what is, is similar about it. I, I don't see any. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a very valid uh, question. And in fact, there are similarities there, obviously. But we, I would love to show you those. Um, one, for a fact, they knew and they preached uh, Jesus' Father's name, Jehovah. Where? And what also, verse? In Acts? In Acts? I didn't. I didn't see I didn't, it. Well, um, a lot of people <laughs> miss that point, um, but it is true, too, that in a lot of Bible translations, um, God's, word, God's name, Jehovah, is just simply translated with capital L-O-R-D or capital G-O-D. No, and it's his name not, not in the New Testament, Testament, it isn't, because it doesn't occur in any of the Greek manuscripts, so there is no translation well, of it. Interestingly, so it does. In um, Greek it, manuscripts, it, it, it has it was removed. God's name was removed. No, there's there's so, five there's over five thousand Greek thousand? manuscripts existing. I mean, a few are even like from AD 100 recently and, and, that they found it. None of them have it. So, well, I mean, where do you how do you prove that someone that removed it? You, well, in, in our studies of the scriptures, uh -huh. um, we have found that there have been a lot of, uh, in the Greek scriptures, a lot of writers uh, have quoted from the Hebrew scriptures. Mm -hmm. So in quoting from these scriptures, they wouldn't have chosen upon themselves, especially being that Jehovah was inspiring they were, them. To they were write. quoting from the Septuagint, though. The Septuagint is the... Existing in in that in their day in the mm -hmm. first Christian congregation, the existing Hebrew part of the Bible. The Septuagint the is Septuagint the Greek translation the of the Hebrew. Of of the Hebrew, yes, it's what existed. And that's what in they their quoted day, from most of the time. And um, the so reason the reason they quoted Old Testament passages and used curios, Lord. It's because a lot of the time they were re using those passages, those Yahweh passages, and then applying them to Jesus. Like, just for example, one example, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Well, where, where it says that in the context, it's clearly talking about Jesus, but that is a quote from the Old Testament. Well, that very interesting, mm -hmm. very interesting comments that you have and questions. And in fact, there is an answer, um, scriptural answer, to what whether they were referring when mm -hmm. they would use those terms to Jesus or mm -hmm. to the Father. They were and referring to Jesus. Jesus. You know, for example, you know, it, in Romans 10, it says, you know, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In Romans 10. Uh, 13. It also says it in the book of Acts, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. And you know that's a verse from the Old Testament. So think about what it says in 1 Corinthians 1, where Paul identifies who he's writing to. And you're going to, this will blow your mind, who he's addressing it to is to the church of God, which is at Corinth, called to be saints, with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. So he identifies Christians as those who call upon the name of Jesus. It's interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And who did Jesus call on? Have you ever uh, The Father. Of that? Yeah, he called him Father. He didn't call him Jehovah. He called him Father. Yeah, Jesus yeah, was human. He had a father. May I refer you to Matthew 6 9? You're very familiar with that, I'm sure. It looks like you have a nice, rounded out um, scriptural knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, that prayer is prayed by Christians. It is. Over the it is. Earth. Yeah. What do you think Jesus meant when he said, Our Father who are in heaven, let your name be sanctified? Well, name? well, who was he praying to? To the Father. What What's the problem well, and, about and that? What name would be sanctified? Well, name doesn't always mean letters like Y H W H. So what? If what Jesus meant that, that, if Jesus meant that, he would have said, would have said the tetragrammaton, which he never did. He well, did not refer, he, why didn't even call him Jehovah right here? He didn't. That, 
that I would love to show you um, the answers to your questions. If you Name can. here means all that you are, your reputation, your glory, your, you know, that's what it means. Yeah, Let that be that glorified is, and praised in the earth. Hallowed be thy name. Very, that's a very interesting comment and, and opinion, which we've heard, obviously. But if a person really has a question as to where in the Greek scriptures God's name is referred to, yeah, it's not. where yeah. Jesus spoke about mm-hmm. that, how do we know that the first yeah. Christian um, congregation used it or not, we would be happy to show yeah. them. The That's scripture. just, uh, you know, they're going to have to get away from that sometime because the more manuscripts they keep finding, you know, none of them know, have I, Yahweh I, in it. I, maybe I didn't understand your mm-hmm. your phone call, but did you have a phone call? Did you call here to, like, want an answer as to, you know, what yeah, I, 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 yeah, you didn't really speak to Acts one eight. You kind of went off on other topics, but I just think it's really interesting because you say you're like the earliest church. <laughs> I would love to explain it to you, but you know, we I've been listening to which which is the proper thing to do to listen to what you know you, yeah. your thoughts were. I did so, also I'm, likewise. I'm more than happy to give you scriptural references to that. Uh, we are showing the broadcasting today we show it every second saturday of the month so if i can you know contact you somehow i would love to you know share that the broadcast yeah i i've seen it actually so i like i said you know i need to get back to that but okay. i would i would love i would love to share give you the answers to your questions if you want me to drop it by or just share with you some scriptures sometime on yeah, the there's no scriptures with the Tetragrammaton in the New Testament, so I'm not sure how you could do that. Well, it, it's up to you if you want us to <laughs> discuss this subject or not, or if you just want to, you know. Do you guys still use that you divine can, name booklet? That is one of our publications. Do they still use it? Because I know the Trinity book, they took that out of print real quick. Real quick. Because um, it was no, so not refuted. Actually, not, not actually real quick. That is a, a, mm. a, a definite uh, miss um, quote <laughs> because we still have the Trinity brochure. And miss we still quote? Use it. That's um, why they that's took why it we, off the website like because there's so many miss quotes in it, you know. Well, obviously you have come to your own conclusions of thoughts, mm-hmm. and it doesn't surprise me. Jesus did say that we would you know, preach to the entire inhabited earth and that salvation is individual. However, if you want an answer to your question, I would love to provide an answer. But we don't, as as the first century Christians, we don't force anyone. It has to be a true, honest, to goodness, sincere question, not uh, someone that already has their mindset uh-huh. to criticize you know so oh, okay. if you want an answer and i did and you didn't you didn't even come close to even addressing it whatsoever you know so I hey thanks for I'm thanks for trying to, to take it to you thank you so much okay bye, bye. god bless god bless